everyone, it's Kathy from kathyzilski.com welcoming you to another installment of Kathy Makes a Card. I am a brand new card maker who is learning about all the things that go into making simple but beautiful cards. In today's video, I'm going to tackle using a stencil, blending distress inks, and stacking die cuts. And there may also be one instance of mounting a card base completely upside down. Shall we get started? So I'm starting today with some smooth Nina Solar White cardstock. And I am going to be using Distress Inks today. I've got three colors. I have Fossilized Amber, I have Worn Lipstick, and Wild Honey. And then I have two tools. I only have too many blending tools, and so for now, what I do is I keep my little sponge inside the bottom because it fits in there about as neat as can be. I know, it's like they planned it that way. And I'm going to put it on and just, I take them off and put them on. I'm sure it would be great to have uh, blending tools for every color, but I, I'll get there. Trust me, I'll probably be there in a couple weeks. But for now, I'm going to economize. So I need to bring out my stencil. This is a honeycomb stencil from Hero Arts, and it should not surprise you that I love honeycomb because I, I dress up every year and I dance and I, I look like this. So I saw this stencil from Hero Arts and knew I wanted to play with it, wanted to you know do something with it, and this is, well, what I'm doing today. So I'm taping it down just because I don't want it to move. I do not trust myself to you know hold it in place. So it's all taped down. And I'm just going to start doing the whole smush into the mat thing. Did not know this for the last card. This is new. See, I watch YouTube videos and I learn. So I smush in the mat, get a little, and then go lightly over the stencil. Now, the one thing that's cool about a stencil is I'm not very good at blending yet. I'm pretty new. And for me, actually, I screwed up there. I pushed a little too hard. But for me... It's tricky to get this soft blend that I see so many amazing card artists do. But I think what's cool about having a stencil, it's lifting that tool off the paper a little bit. So you're going to have a better chance, I think, of getting a softer look as a new blender. Because again, I'm not an expert blender. So I just kept going over a little bit of the wild honey at the bottom, a little bit of the fossilized amber at the top, and then I kept going over with the warm lipstick just to get that nice blend until it looked how I thought, yeah, this will work. Now, I'm gonna take the tool once the stencil's off and go over it really lightly again because I don't want this just to be a honeycomb pattern on white. I wanna add some color back in, so I'm going as light as I can because again, I do have a hard time getting that light touch. But now, I've got everything in there, and you know when you're doing something like this, now I get I get it when people say, you just, you just play until it feels right. Oh, this feels pretty good for me, because I know that I am going to be cutting out a panel for my actual card. And once I've got it ready to go, I bring in the Magical Distress Sprayer. Now, people, this to me is a whole new world. I am spritzing, and then I'm, I'm pulling it back a little bit, the halfway, the you know, half cocked and getting the little drips. I'm, I'm doing things with water. This is crazy. Take the paper towel, blot it down, and then you get that really cool look that you can't predict, right? It's just gonna, it's just gonna do what it's gonna do. So I'm setting that aside to dry and I'm working now on the title. Now this is a die cut that I had to make on my silhouette. I am gonna be turning this sentiment into a metal die that you will be able to purchase as part of my collection. But I'm, I'm a little ahead of myself here. So I that will be coming. And I just cut out six of them on my silhouette, glue and stack. And that is another technique that before card making, I had no idea that people did this, that, that you create the dimension by stacking. It just, I know it might seem super obvious to people who've been making cards for a long time, but didn't know this, and now I, I feel like I'm going to have to stack die cuts possibly daily for the rest of my days. So getting it lined up for me, that's, that's another tricky thing. But once it's all good to go, I've got this stacked title, and I'm going to press down really hard, really hard, pressing, pressing, and yes, my manicure, thank you. I did do that myself. 
but I'm getting it and it's there and now we are ready. Now I cut out the card panel off camera <laughs> and now I am going to use the Scotch Mounty tape. This thing is huge. This thing is bigger than my head. I, I like foam tape, you know that, I cannot lie. And because I am probably just gonna use this in, not in the mail, I know I've, I've recently acquired some fun foam. So I am hip to the idea that the fun foam is a way that won't get monked up, if you will, in the mail. But for now, I do, I wanted the big roll. It's probably going to last me at least a month. So, and I know you can tear it too, but I still, I still like using my Tim Holtz scissors and that they're, they just, they make me happy. So I'm getting this all on and I'm getting ready to stick it down on the card. Goodbye, giant roll of tape. Again, when that did arrive, I started I was just laughing. I had no idea it was that big. So now, you know, if you decide, Hey, I think I want to have a giant roll. Now, you know. So I'm using some Simon Says Stamp uh, cardstock. It's a hundred pound. It's really sturdy. It just like, it's the thickest cardstock I think I've ever used. And I love it. I love the color. It worked really well with the inks. And now I'm just struggling because I, I had just done my nails about an hour before this. So everything felt a little sticky and I, I think I was afraid I was gonna ruin my manicure. But anyway, getting it lined up. Everything's good to go. And this always does take me a little bit because I stand up to do this stuff. I'm standing right now. My head is literally over the top of my camera as I'm looking down. But I commit, press it down. <sighs> there we go. And now it's time to put my, use my multi matte medium, which is new, very new adhesive for me, to put my sentiment on the card. I got some tips and I'm sure they're great but I had to squeeze so hard to get the glue out. And the thing is, these are new tips. So I feel like I'm going to explore some other tips. I think there are some other tips and I'm gonna, I've got some in my shopping cart right now. I'm gonna try those out because I think I need something that's a little easier to use. But that said, once I started to, you know, to handing the squeeze, the glue did come out and I was able to put this down. Again, this is, I'm new to matte medium, but it really does seem like a really cool, really strong adhesive and uh, I like that. So now I'm gonna pop this on and, and it's beautiful and, and my, card is, my card is done with the exception of one little detail. Once I got this pressed down and I, and I gave it a little extra time here, and I'm thinking about how happy I am about this card and how cool it is and how great my manicure is. I took a step back and I just wanted to admire it. And when I did that, I realized that, um, yeah, I mounted it upside down. I did manage to peel it off later off camera and save the day, but I just want you to know if there is a takeaway today from this tutorial, it would be to always check which side of the card opens before you glue your panel down. Thank you so much for watching today. Please subscribe to my channel and check out more videos in the center. To see more from me, visit my website today. Thanks everyone and have a great day.